Hey guys, welcome back. Hope everyone's doing all right. Something a little bit different today. Uh, one of the reasons I'm doing something a little bit different is I'm having some internet issues. I've contacted providers and yeah. So I've tried to stream like three times today, but it just keeps going off. I've got no uh, upload or download. So if it goes off, it's not the end of the world. I need to get this done for the weekend. So yeah, if the stream cuts off, I'm not going to redo it or anything. I am recording it, so I could upload it uh, at a later date. So basically just a quick backstory. This is my original PC, which I have had for, for how many years? Four, four years? Might have had it a bit longer, I can't remember, but anyway, had this a while. <laughs> the only thing original in it is the CPU, so everything else has changed. Motherboard case, power supply, graphics card, radiator, literally everything else has changed. There only is literally the CPU left. Mum and Dad got me this because when I got into gaming through whatever reason I got into it for, anyone that's a, a long-term subscriber will know, uh, they were worried that my current PC, which was terrible, would have broken so they got me a basic computer that I, like i could put uh that i could put a graphics card in so this this one came with no card anyway basically long story short is i wanted to keep it sentimentally this graphics card was a present for my wife as well that was a, my wedding present like what, what we used to get me going which is a massive uh, appreciation to her however lost the dog this year loads of other things happened this has got to go so i've sold it Subscriber has bought it. Uh, it did have 8 gig of RAM in it. It's got a GTX 970 in it. It has got a brand new motherboard. It's a gig Gigabyte Gaming, which we put in a couple of months ago. Uh, it's got a i5 6600K in it, which is more than capable CPU. Liquid cooler, uh, SSD, hard drive, and you know, all the other stuff. So basically, what I'd said to him was, if you want to run games at a decent setting, the 970 will do it, but he'd be better off putting a decent card in. So, went looking, found this bad boy, which this is a GTX 1070, so the newer version of that one, but it's the hybrid version. It is going to be hard to fit in here, so <laughs> this might not work, but if I need to modify the case slightly, it's going in. Uh, it is a very small build uh, for what it is, and hopefully it fits. Uh, I'm also going to chuck in a 16 gig of RAM for him off one of my other computers, just so he's got a bit more RAM. So yeah, all's good. Uh, yeah, if you've got any other questions, let us know. Uh, but yeah, it's basically just a quick refresh. I'm going to rebuild this for him. We're going to try and squeeze this monster in, which I will unbox it uh, in a bit. Uh, again, I don't know how well you're going to be able to see. Uh, hopefully you can see, not too bad. It's always hard doing these computer builds. Hiya, Prez, how are you doing? So yeah, I, as I say, I, I am actually, I'm currently going drifting. That was the plan for today, as you can see. But I, I just, I can't because <laughs> my internet keeps going off. So that that was the plan. I was going to go a set of course of drifting. I've been trying to get on since 12 o'clock this afternoon. I'm now currently just giving up. I've been on the phone to my provider. I'm trying to get it sorted. So, Hiya, Danny. How are you doing, buddy? Hope you're well. So, yeah, this is, uh, it's going on Monday, this computer. So I thought I'd get it refreshed for him. Uh, I'm, I'm concerned about fitting the hybrid card in this case because there isn't a lot of room to work on. So yeah, hopefully she fits. She might not. I, I actually don't know. It could do with a bit of a dust and a clean anyway. So so yeah, this, this card's staying with me and it's going to go on a shelf and live its days out on a shelf. It means more to me than just a graphics card. It sounds absolutely stupid, but yeah. It's my first ever card that I could actually game on. And it's a nice card at that. So, should have a cloth or something in here. Right, we'll give it a bit of a clean up in here. I will be. I will start this as well and see how she goes. The only thing I don't like about this case, it's a lovely, lovely case, it really is, but this bit is just a little, see that? I don't know if you can see that well, but it's just a bit flimsy, that for me, but... Yeah, I'm probably just picking at something that doesn't need picking at. God, it is dusty. It's the only downside to computers. I'll need to take that. I'll need to take that out and hoover that out for him, but I can do that Monday. So, 
my one of my biggest issues is going to be the pump sits here so the new radiator for the new graphics card sits here the biggest issue is going to be can i fit the power cables in uh that's going to be the biggest problem here but we'll see so we've got ram to fit and then we've got the ssd to move because i don't know if anyone can see but ssd here is going to be a slight issue so yeah we'll see how she goes i'll need to move the ssd and then i'll also need to see if we need to reroute the cables i'm hoping not but if we do it's not the end of the world it's a beautiful little build this i love this little case it's just a nightmare to work in once it's done it's done but yeah i had it on the uh, i was going to keep it you see and I, I had it on the living room uh, wall so it was brilliant but i'm concerned now about where the hell i wrote these because there just isn't anywhere to work with this PC. It's one of the things that does me head in about it. Alright, so we should be able to unscrew the SSD drive completely. And where else can I put... Ah, right, okay. I can stick the SSD in this side. Cool. Afternoon, mate. How are you doing? Yeah, as I say, just a warning for any newbies. It might, it might go off the stream but there's not a lot i can do about it i thought it was youtube to start with so we're going to stick the ssd in there so we just want to whip out the whole drive for the ssd which is this one i'm hoping there's going to be enough room if not i'll do some off-camera modifications <laughs> which i'm sure capture won't mind as long as it works and it fits i'm sure it'll be fine with it Right, point out the negatives in the product. Absolutely, man. That's why I'm not a salesman, mate. I don't have it. Even sponsored things, I mean, this isn't sponsored at all, but even sponsored things I have on the channel, I tell, I tell the companies when they contact me, or if I've contacted them, if the product's rubbish, and, you know, I will tell people. <laughs> I've got out to hide. I don't make any money or anything through the actual sponsorships or anything like that, so I've got nothing to hide there. If if it's good, it's good, but if it's rubbish, I'll tell you it's rubbish. Yeah, that's a good point, Cap. That is a good point. Yeah, you're probably right, mate, actually. Yeah, you probably are right. So, we're going to stick the SSD in there. So, it's quite hard to show you what I'm doing, but it's just, I'm, I had the SSD here, but the new radiator, because the graphics card's water cooled, well, liquid cooled, technically. So, we need to put the new uh, radiator in there. So, the streams help me get through anxiety and panic attacks. Uh, I have a big respect for you, man. Oh, cheers, Finley, man. Appreciate it, mate. Top, what a man. What a man. Bit of robbing tonight, absolutely, mate, I would imagine. Uh, it'll be my last one, actually, because I'm off Friday, I'm off Saturday and Sunday, so I'm going away to Sam's Barbecue for the weekend, so which would be pretty cool. Right, so we've got the SSD. Excellent. We've got the RAM, which is behind us. So we may as well stick that in the now. So yeah, I've robbed some some bigger RAM out my other computer, the blue one that I don't use as much, just so he's getting just so he's getting a decent spec PC because he's been a huge help to me over the last few years. Thanks again, Finley, mate. So yeah, trying to help him out a little bit on top of that as well, you know. Uh, right, so RAM's in, and I'll pick some other RAM up for the other computer at a later date, because I'm not using it that much at the moment, because I don't have any friends. Right, so that's that. So realistically, I need to know whether I need to... Let's see, I don't... I don't know how this is going to fit. <laughs> it's going to be a freaking nightmare. It really, really is. Right, uh what is this PC cover? I don't know what you mean there, buddy. PC cover. All right, so this is the tank 
that he went went for. I mean, it was through my advice, and it's not a new generation card. I completely get that, and some people might have a go at me for that because it's not a 2060 or whatever, but it's a stonking card, and one of the biggest problems with air cool cards, in my experience, that's purely my opinion, it's not fact, I'm not saying it's correct or wrong or right, but in my experience... Once the cards start to get warm with an air cooler on, you know, the the Yeah, at the end of the day, once the temps get hot, they tend to back the clocks off and therefore you lose frame rate. So I've got a hybrid card, it's an older version than this one that I bought second hand. But it's the the temperature difference is just insane. Like they just stay so cool. So that's why when I saw this for a good deal, for around about, it was a little bit cheaper than like a high end 2060. I was like, you've got to go for it, man. You've just, it's it's a better card in my opinion than a 2060. I know technically the 2060s are slightly faster or whatever, but yeah, I think for the money and the fact that it's a hybrid card, I think it's fantastic. So it'll do him the world of good. Look at that, man. Whew. It's going to be a beast. Alright, so we do have a radiator to contend with as well. Right, I'll lift this up. Alright, I don't need to know what's in the rest of the box because we're just doing a quick refresh. So, I need to measure this up anywhere to go in, so... The amount of stickers they put on here now is just ridiculous. All the PCs I've built for subscribers as well. I've got all the boxes for all the parts in the garage as well. So if any of them ever come to sell anything, they'll just need to come back to me for the box. We're in. A, a 1070 is a bloody good card, definitely. A very, very good card, in my opinion. Same as the 1080 and that, right? We'll not take this lot off yet, but I'm going to chuck it in. That's a nice card, that. Hey, look how nice that is, man. It's got the nice EVGA backplate on it as well, which is super, super nice. But yeah, it's a, that's a nice looking card. And then we've got the radiator. So the radiator is going to be our problem at the moment yeah i don't know where the 580 stands against the 2070 i'm not 100 percent sure all right so as one expected she's going to be tight but will will fit but i won't be able to put the cooling pipes through uh Right, so that's gonna be a pain in my neck. Right, so these So to them that are the issue. I mean if if need be I'll I'll cut the case. Like if need be I will one hundred percent chop the case. I honestly don't care. <laughs> like I know it might sound awful to capture who's just bought this case, but it's gonna be far better with this in. It has a slot for it, it's just slightly on the tight side. Don't worry, I have left the protection on the card, so don't panic. Yeah, we're not going to fit with that, I don't think. Bogger. I mean, it's... It's close. It's like, it's stupid close. If I take it out, uh, uh, force it through, uh, it's more fun. <laughs> Hiya, Nitrous, mate. How are you doing? Yeah, having a good day, man. Uh, apart from frigging internet, it's doing me absolute nothing. 1660, nice card, that, man. Yeah, so I think what I'll do, I don't know how well you guys can see, but... 
I think what we'll do is you'll be able to see here hopefully where she's getting caught on so obviously it's built for a 240 radiator but it's not built for two one one twenty so the bottom here all the cables run through here and there's no like official there's no official gap for them to run through they just run through there which in my opinion is a bit crap so what i'll do is i'll cut a rectangle out here so cut down there and cut across which will be perfect so it's either that or i'll go through the back uh, i'm just going to have a nosy now i don't really want to take out everything i've done I don't want to rebuild the whole thing, but yeah, that's probably what I'll do is I'll just cut the back out. But there is, there is a slot through there. They've just made it really difficult. It's just a, it's just a terrible case to work in. It's not a complaint, it's just a fact. And it's a beautiful case when it's working. It's just, all right, so I've got that there. That's that one. Right, where's this big one at? Sent a sketch and insta. Oh, I'll have a look, buddy. Definitely, man. Yeah, hundred percent. I'm just uh, just bear with us. I'm just gonna try something here. Right, so if I take this big fat cable, this one, will it fit through? I don't think it will, you know. So what if I split it? Can I split this cable? I don't think that's going through there, like. Alright, uh Terman Games. I do man, how are you doing? Yeah, long time no see, hope you're well, buddy. Alright, so if I can wedge this through here, then we're laughing. How bad does that look? Oh, that doesn't actually look that bad. Right, so if we route that through there, you basically just need to unconnect everything I've connected in the past. But this means there'll be no chopping involved. Hooray! I think. Right, so where's that going? Is this all just crap that I've just dumped? See, I, one of the things I should have put in here was a... a I, I always meant to put in a thingy power supply. What even is this? I don't even need that. Yeah, I always meant to put in a oh, what do you call it? a modular power supply, but I just never did because this this just worked. And it, this this actually particular power supply is brand new because I bought this one for this build. It's more than enough for what it needs. All right, so. That's for me. Ah, so this this, this one's going to be the problem. The problem is, how do I get to the graphics card with power? And how much power does the graphics card require? Let's find out, Dave. Right, so we're on one 8 pin, so that's not bad. So we can lose an 8 pin already. So we'll lose that 6. We don't need you. That, that makes my life easier. Right, so I'm only one 8 pin to the graphics card. So I'm hoping this hole is bigger than it looks said by most men ever no you can't go under the casement this is it like this, this literally you've got this hole or the hole that i'm not using anymore it's just it's just one of them things it's like i don't know why they didn't just give you considering it's a tight case to working in anywhere why didn't they just give you more room but again, I am trying to I'm trying to make it so it fits when technically it shouldn't fit. But we'll get it. That's it, cap, 100%. There, it's a beautiful little computer. This it's so tiny, like it always surprises people. All right, so that lets that through. So we've got that one, and I've got this lot to go. Back through here. 
And this is why you buy a modular power supply, so you don't need to deal with all this. Right, so if all that's out the way and that one is in there, I reckon she should fit. Right, let's test fit it again. Yes, she fits. Lovely. So my only my only other issue is getting the uh, the eight pin to it, which is fine, and you know putting this lot somewhere. <laughs> right, so don't want to run the eight pin through the back, but I do want to run this lot through the back because I can just hide these out 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 the back because they're just not needed. So if I can run these through here as well, that would be great. No, no, it's not Sarah's new PC. I would, I would love to give her a new PC. I just, I just can't. Jesus, not at the minute. No, this is a PC that I technically didn't really want to sell, but then had to sell. And uh, one of the subscribers bought it, and then I offered to do some work on it, a bit of a refresh on it, and he took my offer. Because at the end of the day, he's not very cute computer illiterate, as in building computers, and he would have then had to go and pay somebody else to do it, and I offered to do it for free, so. And to be fair, Computer Shop would have said this wouldn't fit, which it will when I'm finished. That uh, computer's already sold, so it doesn't matter how much he paid for it at the end of the day. But he did get, he got the 1070 for it, so, which is awesome. Yeah, definitely what I saw Sarah out. I was on with her for about an hour earlier on there, just trying to get her past 30 frames. But she's just sitting at like 20 frames all the time, and her older CPU that she's using, like, I mean, it is old, and it is not the best, but it should still give you, with a 1050 Ti and an 8350, you still should get 60 frames. And she's just not getting anywhere near. Oh mate, yeah, cases like this are beautiful looking when they're finished, but my days are an ass, an ass, they're a pain in the ass. Right, so, what's the chances of me still being able to run my GPU cable under here? Oh, the problem is I need to get, hmm, I need to get GPU power to it, is the problem, and that, f but this hole here is just, I don't think we're getting out else through there. I, d I don't know, you know. I just don't know. Oh, de I, oh yeah, def 100%. And I know if I had all of a computer, there'd be a lot of issues there. I've got a graphics card for it, so we just, thanks to Glenn, so we just need to try and see if we can, you know, if I come across a cheap processor or something, we'll try and get it sorted for her. She doesn't stream as much as she would like to, because it just runs like a bag of shite, which is a shame. Some of her settings were a bit wrong, like, as well, to be fair. This is tight. <laughs> But should look all right when it's finished. I do like things neat, but this is like the worst case to work in if you want neat things. And I've got cable tidies on it as well, so it's making it a pain in the bloody neck. We need more cable than that. Right, so for this to actually, for me to know if I've wired this incorrectly, I now need to put that back in and actually stick the card in it. Right, uh, no, mate, we don't really do goals anymore now. 
just cause too much grief. I still get quite a few donations in, like I just I just use them for other things now. Try and get things sorted financially and whatnot. Get on an even keel, which is hard to do nowadays. All right, so if that's in there, how much cable do I need? Well, I'll tell you one thing, I need more than that. <laughs> right. Who was that? All right, mate, cheers for that, pal. Oh, this is a pain in the neck. This is a friggin' pain. What's it start, right? It was 12 o'clock I've been trying to get on bloody streaming with my internet on and off and on and off. The minute I start streaming on here, internet's all right. Spot on. Right, so, realistically, I need to bring this back through. Pain in my friggin' neck. To be fair, if you're running a 240 radiator, you would have to do this as well. There just isn't enough cable routing holes. And if I was keeping it, I would just drill. Well, I would just drill cable routing holes in it because it's just it's a friggin' joke, man. Oh, a computer like that. Uh, I know, I know. Well, I had it up for about, uh, I had it up for five fifty with the with the way it was, you know. And it's a good PC for the money. This is where I am, mate. How are you? Where's firefighter at, man? Poor Sarah's still getting twelve frames. Oh come on! Just get out the friggin' hole. Yeah, it is, yeah. Oh, it's, it's going to be a nice build. Like, I mean, Sam and so many people do things on, like, a lot more on, like, a lesser processor. So, cheers, yeah. Appreciate it, man. Absolutely no need, though, but really, really appreciate it. Right, so which way are we for the power? Ah, so we are that way, so we want to be... Sort this cable out a little bit. So we want to be like that, down to there. Yeah, so we just want to bring... Oh, the only thing is I can't see. Hang on a minute. Who's that? Simon! Nice one, mate. Oh, I've got the stream on here. Doesn't matter. Shut up. Don't listen to me. Don't listen to me. Should do builds like this. We should just order people to drop the PCs off here and we'll do a bit of a refresh if we can ever get, like... Asus or someone useful on board like that right so these two cables fit down here so this I can wire this through here I know mate I'm gutted I always meant to take these out and put them in my desk computer because obviously this was my old desk computer so I always meant to rip these cables out and stick them in my because uh, they're, they're an extra like they're you know, there's something, again, you just wouldn't normally see on a budget PC, to be fair. But, uh, as I say, I never ever got time to get around it, so I'll eventually get myself some more. But they are nice. They're just a bit of a pain to play with. Come on, go through there, man, you big dick. No, she's not going through. Why isn't she going through? Right, there's one bit through. There we go. Right. Right, so that's in. So I'll have to hide them cables on top of the power supply for now. Then we can put this it back together and plug that in. Like so. And we'll hide that down there when we need it. 
lovely i've still got everything to connect in the back of the case but i'm not too concerned about all that at the moment we'll cable tie all them up out the road we've got these two which are going to be coming in and they're going to be staying in down here somewhere right, that's fine so technically i could do a bolt and the radiator on next the rams in cables are in so we could do with actually getting the radiator in next so hiya paul how we doing paul hope you're well my friend hope you're well Right, so that's nice. So that should actually technically look quite nice now when it's when I pull all the cables around the right way. It's only a single eight. But again, even if he's in a warm office or anything like that, he shouldn't need to ever worry about temperatures, which is nice. Graphics cards are normally where your temps go wrong. Right, so that would now go in excellent so everything fits now nice and snug it's a, it's a tight little build that <laughs> it, it's not as big as it looks either it is tiny man that is a tight little build alright so we've got the back of the computer to connect up now Oh, it's, a, it's a stunning build. I'm uh, really good to see it go, but it's going to a good home, so that's the main thing. So, yeah, spot on. Right. Pull this back out. We'll have this off. Did Firefighter, uh, did Sam get back to us? Ah. Uh, well, is he is he there yet then, uh, Sam? Nice. Shame we didn't have a few RGB fans to throw in, but I just don't have anything laid about. Right, so let's push fit it in for now. So I'm hoping everything will line up. Ha! We actually have holes that line up as well, so that's all our radiator space. We need to keep that clean. We've got our SSD now, which will hop back in there. So this will slide in here nicely. Or should do. Right, uh, there you go. So that clips in there. So we need one of these. So we need one of them, we need this plugging in, and then hiding somehow, like a magician. I need to actually plug the thing in first, so if I can get it over to the other side, because that's where I unplugged it from. It's such a pain in the ass case to work in, it really is. But you can wall mount it, if that helps. That makes you feel any better about it. It is a pain in the ass, man. Come on. She's through. Alright, so what I'm looking for is I'm looking for that big 24 pin. She should be just reachable in here there she is right so i just need that and that together Uh, I, 
I, I actually don't know what I'll be playing because this is the longest my internet's been on all day. So uh, my rig is actually set up ready to go on a set of courses, but I just haven't been able to get on the bloody thing, which is annoying. Right, so I need that round there. Need them in there. Clean. What's this do? Oh, yeah. <laughs> what the hell does this do, Dave? Forgot how much I actually unplugged to get to this stage. So that's up there. That's me. Therefore, them. This one can be hidden. Which is lovely. So you can just pop yourself in there. Because anything that protrudes out the back won't. That's it. You 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 can't you can't shut the case, which is a pain in the neck. All right. So I'd ideally prefer this to keep. I don't want it in there really, but if I could keep it out the road would be nice. All right. That's fine. That's not in my way. So the back should fit apart from these two. Alright, uh Where are we are here? That's some very nice finger racks. You lot are terrible. Alright, Matt, see if I buy a new case, could you put the stuff from the old case to the new case if so how much uh day in a life uh, a lot of people have mentioned about me, you know, doing computers and that. One, I'm, I am not a professional uh, professional PC builder. I'm really not. I, I'm a, I'm an, an enthusiast. I make mistakes. And I wouldn't want other people's uh, PCs to be in my hands in case that happened because I'm not a business. I can't claim back on my insurance or something like that. However, friends, a few people that have really helped me out over the years. I, I'm just trying to just give back a little bit. That's all I'm trying to do. So, uh, whether it's been, you know, it's been so many people like Samulation, for instance, you know, he's not donated much over the years, but my God, he's been a mental help hugely. So it's not just, it's not just about that. It's about everything. Uh, ah, balls. Uh, I'm not going to be able to use that cable. Shit. Oh, that's a pain in my ass. Is that? If I can't use that cable, that's going to really complicate things. So I can use that one. So can I use this one up there? Please, go on, just be easy for once. Go on, do that thing where you're just very, very easy. Ah, it's going to be an ass. Oh, it's, it's a 90 degree motherboard cable which realistically I shouldn't be, well, I shouldn't be using it but you would normally use a straight cable but that is raised so technically we should be alright once it's in yeah we're fine Yeah, that's fine. I'll make sure it works and that like. What's that got? What's that got in it? Oh, that's got that say. That's got me good hard drive in that. Fuck. Bollocks. <laughs> well, you're getting a good size hard drive anyway. Right. Right, you need help, uh, pff, mate. This is, I mean, this YouTube's out there. It's free to use. There's so much help on there, honestly. And so many people just don't take advantage of it. Okay, with YouTube and that, you have to do it yourself. But once you know what you're doing, it's so easy. Oh, 
Right, where else are we? Yeah, this is for capture, mate. Yeah, it's my my older PC that he bought off me. So. Right, are you? I am having internet issues. Yep. Yeah. I was hoping when my switch finally gave out, I thought it was just my switch, and I thought, ah, excellent. The internet issues I was having, I probably won't have anymore. But yet again, this morning, no internet. Still me friggin' heading. The cabinet's under my window. Like, literally, under my window. And I'm like, ah, oh, it must be you. It must be you, sir. You're complaining a lot. I'm like, well, I'm complaining a lot because I'm paying friggin' 60 quid a month and I'm not getting any internet. So I think I have the right to complain, you absolute bellend. Right, so I've got some screws to lob in. So we'll get we'll get them lobbed in. Uh, we should have some extra pieces here. So Aha, here we are. So we've got a pipe tie down, we don't need that. My PC, which one? This one or the one behind us? I like my little desk one. The only thing I would change in my desk one is add braided cables to it. <laughs> all my other PCs, yeah, all my other ones have got braided in. And this was my my older desk build. Hmm. Why can't I screw that in? Actually, don't. I don't know why I can't screw that in. I should be able to. Oh, the bottom one fits. That's fine. Right. Oh, you're fine, mate. No, honestly. I, to, to be honest, Cap, because obviously... Em, Emma's got that cast to send back over there. I really can't because we're absolutely. It's uh, it's it's not great. Well, if I get a chance to chat to you on the phone, I'll I'll explain. You'll know what I mean. I can't go and buy cables at the moment, unfortunately. Even if it was there, I just can't do it. Excellent. One more screw in, and then we'll see if it turns on and doesn't blow up, because that'll be handy. I mean, this is this is the smallest build I've ever built in, like... Uh, well, uh, technically, the other case I had was technically smaller. If this one doesn't fit, I'm not bothered. Because I'm sorry, but three screws to hold the radiator on is more than enough. Yeah, she's not having it. See if we can crack these ones off to see if we can just move it over slightly. It's a shame to have most of them in and not this one, but to be honest with you, it really doesn't matter. The problem is I just can't Bloody see. <laughs> ah. I don't care. <laughs> I might that might sound like I'm not being a perfectionist or whatever, but honestly like it's more than enough screws to be holding a radiator up. Cool, so that's that. That's plugged in, that's plugged in. Everything. Capture, you're asking about wireless. Uh, obviously, for when you come and c once you collect a computer, uh, this won't be connected, but this is your wireless adapter if you want to use it. So it just folds down. You fold it up, you screw the two pins in the back of it, and it's magnetic. So you just stick it to the top. That's it. So I, I always have it on because I, I hate losing them because obviously I have a few different computers, but uh, I, I, never, I never ever use wireless because it's just it's a waste of time. It's so hit and miss. One one of the nice things I like about these cases, though, they're that hard. You, you've got it 
wire your cables that well that the good thing is the back disc goes straight on alright so apart from I've got a, the screws to go in the back of here which holds this up and I've got this screw here to try and tighten the only downside to that is that I don't think I'm going to get that without taking the whole thing apart which I'm not willing to do So, so we've got that bolt to put in, which is fine. I mean, technically, if Capture wants me to leave this on, but I know everyone will want to see the card is the only downside, but I'm sure he's not bothered. We'll see. Afternoon, Dean, how are you doing? And then I've got a bit of dusting to do. Oh yeah, I'm sick of that guy, AI. Yeah, Jesus. Get it off. What you want my t-shirt off or what are we talking about here? I might have to take the card out for this, because uh, it might not come off. Well we'll see. Oh, because it's got a backplate one on as well. I've done this art about face to be honest, but I don't care. I didn't want to mark it about while I was lying it on the table, so I thought it was safer to have this on. It does light up this card as well, I think, the, the hybrid bit at the top does, anyway. The, the worst removing of the film I've ever seen, man. There's actually videos on YouTube for this. Sorted, man. This is a nice looking card, that. I might need to take that off later. Oh no. We got it. We got there in the end. Lovely. A nice build. So I've just got that screw to put on, which I can do after. So before I put the glass on, we'll make sure she actually turns on. Excellent. Right, so if I put my after here, I don't actually think, guys, I'll have a cable spare. I say that opening a, a drawer full of cables, like, but uh, oh no, technically that is the right cable. Actually, hang on a minute. It's not a very dignified drawer opening on screen, that is it? Oh, you can't, you guys can't actually see. Excellent. <laughs> it's the worst drawer in the world. Really annoys me because I'm quite, I'm quite organised normally, but uh, <laughs> that drawer's a mess. Right, so we should be able to plug this into a monitor, which should be here. Lovely. I'll plug this in down here into thy graphics card, which I really need to put in. Hang on, I've got to spare one of these for now. I need to put one of these in because this thing's sagging like mad. Right. So which one's going to be the? That's the one. Excellent. Yes, do you want to change? Yes, I do. Yes, I do indeedy. Hopefully everything's plugged in. Because, I mean, it's got Windows and that on it, so it should should technically. I'll need to change RAM speeds and things because I've changed the RAM over, but hopefully she should post. Can't see why not. It's a nice card, that. 
A little bit of writing on the top's nice as well. I don't know if you can see that. But yeah, it's nice, isn't it? It's a lovely little build, this. Because I've actually got the Armstrong logo on the front of it as well, which I don't technically think he'll want. <laughs> so I'll need, to let, I'll, I'll need to get that off. Yeah, there we go. Just got to install the graphics drivers on it and that. I'm going to... I was possibly going to wipe it, but I don't think I'll bother. I think I'll just uh, take the stuff off I don't need, I'm sure. He'll wipe it if he needs to in the future. There you go. Clean. Quick. Easy. Simple. Love it. Alright, have I still got my chat though? Nah, uh, Evan, I mean, if you're asking that question, I would probably ground yourself, but uh, I think most people don't. I would like to say they do, but I, I generally don't think they do. Excellent. So... Uh, I'm strong sponsor. I know. As I say, I'll need to actually ask Cap if he wants that removing because I'll I'll remove it. The glass wants to clean anyway before it goes to him. But yeah, it can stay, mate. I like it. I personally like the logo. Definitely. It just it sets the bottom of the computer off. I've got them on all of mine. And Daddy's got one on hers as well. But the glass wants a good clean. It's just been sat in the living room. Right, there you go. Mr. Cap, PC's on, running. She fires up no bother when you turn on the back power. It's nice and quiet as well. I I generally didn't think I was fitting two radiators in that like. <laughs> Not two 120s, but that's, that's a nice build, that. Really, really nice. It's a Skylake processor, so it's slightly older generation, but with that GPU in and the fact that it'll never have heat problems, it's brilliant. So, it'll be fine. There you go. Finished build. Done. Refreshed. Looking nice and beautiful. And, uh, yeah, it'll be to its new home next week. I'm not going to have time to do drivers and stuff uh, before I go, because I've got so much other stuff to do at the minute, and no internet, which is doing me friggin' head in. Honestly. I don't know why, whenever I do anything on this desk with a extension, it, it knocks my monitor off every time. I might need to change that, actually. <laughs> that might be a sign of badness. Right, anyone got any questions? What GPU? It's a hybrid 1070, so the one with a radiator on it. So it's a hybrid, uh, it's got a hybrid 1070 in it, it's got a, uh, the i5-6600K which is running at its boost clock I think, I can't remember what it is, I mean I'm not going to overclock it, if he wants to that's fine, I know they run stable at about 4.8, it's got a liquid cooler on it, it's got a H60 I think, or a H55 cooler on it from Corsair, it's got a gigabyte game and motherboard, but the micro one. Uh, with Wi-Fi and all that. It's a nice board actually. It's a really nice board. Uh, braided cables, 16 gig of 3000 speed RAM. Uh, Corsair power supply. Uh, SSD. So it's, it's, the SSD is on the smaller side. Like I think it's a 240 I think or 120. But you you don't put Steam on it. You only put your games on your other drives. So it's got a 2 terabyte 7200 speed uh, hard drive in it as well from Seagate I think it is. So yeah, it's a nice build, man. I, I I love this build. I built it for myself to go in my living room just to just just to keep it really. Just because my mum and dad scrimped and scraped to buy me it, they didn't have a lot of money at the time, you know. So that's kind of why I wanted to. But to be honest, as I say, the build that they bought me, the only thing left in that was the graphics card my wife bought me and the CPU, which again he's taken. Any it, like it's that's the only thing left in the original build. So. Right, how much do you think it would be to build a custom PC anywhere from 200 quid to 10,000? <laughs> you build a computer as much spec price as you want. Uh, 
Anyway, Capture, give us a give us a message anyway about getting this thing collected because as I say, it'll have to be Monday going like Monday onwards, I think. If you want the box for the graphics card, send the box big enough to take the graphics card, obviously. Other than that, I'm going to shoot off. Uh, as I say, I am set up to go drifting. I've been trying to get on here since 12 o'clock, but the internet keeps going off. However, be streaming for an hour, and it hasn't gone off, so I'm going to try again. Uh, yeah, I've done a few builds, Dan. I built Delhi's computer for her as well, and uh, I've got my, my builds. I've got the bigger version, so for anyone that doesn't know, like this is the P1, uh, whereas that... I'll stick you up here so you can see. So, yeah, that's... That's the P3, uh, which is really, really, really nice. I absolutely love it, man. You can get the P5 as well. Uh, and then, obviously, I've got another P3 down there, which isn't turned on at the moment, but it's got no RAM in it. So, yeah, P the P3s are really nice because you can put them on a the wall, you know. They're beautiful cases. I love building computers. Even the one behind is my desk one. It's still quite nice, you know. But anyway, I'll be back at probably 8 o'clock now. Uh, unless I go drifting for an hour. I don't know if it's really worth it. But I suppose I could drift for an hour. Uh, let us know in the comments afterwards if you want me to go drifting for an hour. Uh, and I'll see you all. Uh, bring it. No, Capture told us he's getting it collected, mate. Uh, but, yeah. Does it take dust from above? I, honestly, I've never cleaned that PC up there, the white one. Never cleaned it, and it, I've checked it, but it just doesn't never get dusty. It's too high off the floor. Anyway, I'll see you all later. Uh, if I come back on for an hour, drifting, I'll come back on for an hour. Uh, if not, uh, I'll see you all at 8 o'clock. It is, what is it tonight? It's Thursday, so we're on truck racing. See you all for truck racing. Have a good one, take care, and see you in a bit. And congratulations to Capture for his new computer. I hope he loves it and uses it as much as I would. See you all later.